Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 27th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes. Starting out here looking at the sun as it did produce yet another CME and a flare. We looked at the CME yesterday in a quick video, and today... Just recently in the last image, you can see in that same sunspot region, a C-class solar flare. So two large CMEs and a solar flare over the past 24 hours, 48 hours on the sun. And two of the major events were antipode to each other. Two large plasma filaments there. And then looking at this sunspot region here, you can see in the last image bright flash and that is a c-class solar flare as far as i know an amazing plasma filament and it is on isqua now so we will be looking at that too another quick look here at the northwestern cresting limb of the sun plasma filaments and as well, a quick look at that small plasma event on the top right. Looking at multi-spectrum here, all of the events on the sun. Two Earth-facing events, a CME and a C-class solar flare. Having a look at another light here. And there is no Earth-facing coronal holes to talk about, except for that really tight, small one in the northern region, just above the equator. But no coronal hole wind stream to talk about. So most of the action that we're seeing right now is from the CME and as well solar flares that we've seen over the past little while. Having a look at ISWA as it is showing both blasts originally yesterday it was not showing the second blast but now you can see the second blast was accelerated and tucked up inside of the first cme and most likely i was expecting uh, density to increase and as well temperature a lot of cosmic energy with this filament that is on its way to the to earth having a look at a real-time solar flux and we're already seeing a small spike there for tomorrow with that C-class solar flare. Looking at real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 337 kilometers per second and still a pretty excitable wind stream right now. And you can see, look at the temperature here up to 46. And or 48, we're already actually. seeing the temperature and the density increase. Or sorry, the temperature right now up is ahead of the space weather from the CME in the last little while. And looking at geospace magnetosphere, this is how our planet is handling the space weather right now. And we are under a lot of pressure over the past few hours. And we're seeing a lot of earthquakes across the planet right now. Just recently had another 4.4 in Russia, 4.2 in Mexico, Gulf of California. And minor activity is increasing across the Pacific Northwest. This is the space weather that the sun produces around our planet. And this is the pressure plane. A lot of pressure right now. Looking at the X-ray frequency, the 1 dB absorption. And you can see we did have a pretty long pulse there over the Pacific. A little flash and then a long pulse. A little flash. And then a pretty strong pulse there. Well, not strong, but a long one. Looking at the Schumann resonance for today, a power of 9 and blackout. Amplitude of 9, a quality 
of 5.9. Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours across the planet. And we're going to start out with the North Pole earthquakes, actually. Because we had did have some pretty sizable earthquakes here in Iceland. And not anywhere near the erupting volcano, Fegratus Folly. But this is northern part of the island along the glacier parts of Iceland. 4.8 and a 4.3 as well as 4.8 here in Zevernaya Zemla, 10 kilometer depth, Greenland, pretty much. As well, a 4.1 here in Atu Station, Alaska, 10 kilometer depth. Minor activity through the Aleutians, 3.4 there, Chiniak, Alaska, 10 kilometer depth. And across the United States, Mina, Nevada, seeing minor earthquakes today. Largest in the region, 2.9. But for more earthquakes, we want to go over here to USGS and have a quick look. And just recently here, 4.2 in Las Grulas, Margen de Richa, Mexico, Gulf of California. We've had quite a few earthquakes the last few days there. So heads up. As well, a pretty notable earthquake, 2.3 earthquake, Santa Barbara, right off the coast. And as well, Markley Veal still seeing minor earthquakes. Small shaker there, Lake Tahoe. And a couple minor earthquakes just south of Rainier. And as well into Wenatchee Reserve, Shillane Falls, Washington. Minor earthquakes throughout that region. Nothing major to report in Yellowstone. Notable earthquake here, south of the island of Hawaii. 2.0 in Nehlu. And as well, a notable earthquake here, Carolina. 2.1 in Kulimi, North Carolina. And as well, Missouri. Marston, Missouri, seeing a 2.4. Minor earthquakes there through Oklahoma. And there it is. There's the 4.2 just recently. Mexico, 10 kilometer depth. Looking through the Caribbean, largest to, to report through the region, 3.7. Dominican Republic, 83 kilometer depth. As well, South American plate, seeing a 4.5 there in Pincas, Peru. 5.0 here to report, South Sandwich Islands. 47 kilometer depth looks right around the Michael volcano as well a 4.3 here to report in Tajikistan and just recently there was another earthquake just north of that in Russia very quiet through the Philippines and Indonesia plate today 4.7 there volcano islands region and as well a deep 354 kilometer depth 4.4 is South Japan 5.0 here to report in Tengelek, Indonesia. And as well, the earthquakes continue and deep earthquakes continue through Samoa and Fiji. Largest earthquake of the day, 5.3. And as well, the deepest earthquake of the day, 4.3 there, 586 kilometer depth. As well as seeing a 4.7, 548 kilometer depth. And 4.9 there into the Kermadex, 10 kilometer depth. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. Have a look at the last seven days. And we're seeing a lot of elevated rings across the planet right now. And those are deep. That's showing the depth of the earthquakes. So lots of activity through the North Pole into the Atlantic. And as well, the Aleutian Islands into the Pacific. Deep earthquakes. South America. Multiple deep earthquakes. Fiji and the Kermadex. And yeah, very quiet through Indonesia. Deep earthquakes through the Eurasian Plate as well. Stay safe, stay aware, and prepared, my friends. This is all about awareness and preparedness. No fear here. Hashtag do crew. 
Hashtag no fear here. Have a quick look here at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Aside from all the fires, wow. So, uh, Ibu in Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, Tokono in Indonesia, Aluatolo as well, Indonesia, Kermiski in Russia, Sangay in Ecuador, Sabankaya in Peru, Swiss Enajima in Japan. This is all just in the last six hours, guys. Nevados to Chilean, Fuego in Guatemala, Nevados to Rules, Colombia, and Etna in Italy. So that's about 12 volcanoes getting updated today since last night's update. And you can see many fires, floods, storms across this app right now. 146 active hazards. Looking at some flooding conditions through Louisiana as they had some storms pop up today. Pretty much turning day to night. Some huge storms, supercells formed across the Gulf states today. No new fires to talk about through BC. Tropical Storm Infa is no longer a classified typhoon. And a Tropical Storm Napartek seems to be losing a lot of its moisture before heading into Japan, which is probably a good thing. Still lots of moisture wrapped up with those systems. Lots of cloud cover across the Pacific right now. No major systems to talk about in the Atlantic. And just observing satellite imagery, large low over Russia there. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well daily events worldwide starting out here in Calgary, Alberta. As we still have smoke-filled skies, haven't seen the sun in days. I mean, it peaks out here and there, but nasty, stinky air. And we've got some moisture apparently trying to move in. But big high-pressure blockade is not going to let much of it fall. So overlooking here, five-day forecast, you can see most of the moisture is heading northwards through Manitoba and as well uh, through the United States. Daily evaporation rains as that high-pressure ridge still spins over top. And then watch for a wave of moisture from this Pretty deepening low here, developing through Ontario. Joining forces with another low just south of Greenland. Overlooking the Atlantic, most likely will have a tropical storm in the long range forecast. Probably like in the seven to nine day forecast. But it still depends. It's a pretty dominant high pressure ridge right now over the Atlantic. And it's not really letting much form. Overlooking Europe, another system here moving into France and Spain. Could have some extreme weather with that. Pretty big low moving in. And that's an upper level low with many surface level lows. As well, looking through India. Watching this low pressure system head westward. Bringing most likely flash flooding and extreme weather through India. Same thing here for parts of North Korea with that system, INFA. And then, yeah, wow, Australia, you've got quite a system just south of you guys. It is bigger than your continent, it looks like, here on this map. And southwestern parts are going to be receiving quite a wrath with wave after wave of moisture and strong winds. And then watch for this little whippersnapper to form just south of Perth in the long-range forecast, you could have a pretty nasty system. And as well, watch for this to affect southeastern parts and as well Tasmania all week long. Overlooking the Pacific, do have a couple areas of interest moving through the East Pacific, but most likely staying south of Hawaii. Going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere Big beast of a storm. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.
enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.